Hi, things that I used are watercolor papers from Manipur, brushes of size 0, 000, 000, 4 and 6 and watercolor tubes from Camel. Let's get started. In watercolors, layering is more important. So be gentle with the colors that you use. Use as much light and less paint as possible. So be free and just move your brushes around the areas that you have to cover. Remember not to touch the highlighted areas like forehead, nose, chin and cheeks. So blend the colors to get the desired skin tone. Here I am doing some shadows of the face using the blue and crimson. Always be ready to use the tissue paper to remove the excess water or paints that you have on your main work. You can use wet and wet or wet and dry technique for skin. I use both the technique to get the desired skin tone and then build the details. But to avoid the harsh movement of paint in skin, use a clean brush to blend them like wet and dry technique. Make sure that your skin is smooth with highlights, shadows and medium tones. And next thing that I wanna share is speed because watercolors dry faster. So make sure you do your technique as fast as you can. If you want to preserve your highlighted areas, you can use masking fluids, but here I didn't use any masking fluids. When you are working on the details like eyes, eyebrows, hairs, use the brushes of smaller size so that your detailing will be very clear. For eyebrows or beard or hair, first do a base layer paint, then add your details. This will help it look more natural.
When adding tiny ass, be very gentle and add the ass one by one. And here I am using blue and brown as major base of the app because the picture that I am painting is based on blue lighting. Slowly add your details of the curl app. I used black, brown and blue. Black as the shadows, brown as the hat tone and blue as the lighting. Always study your picture before you work on. Study the lighting, its natural tone and its shadow. When you add details one by one, you will get the desired realistic portrait. Feel free to use some tissues whenever you want to clean your brush. Brush cleaning is the first thing that you have to follow throughout the work. Use two bottles or cups of water, one to clean your dirty brush and other to remove the dirty water stream. Change the water whenever it gets dirty.
as you can see half are more easier to do just follow the hair angle and its natural flow and do its detailing For dress, it's a fur wear, so I add a dark base and add the details using blue and black. As I said before, the whole picture that I am painting is based on blue lighting. You can do details of dress with any of the brushes that you are comfortable with. Finally adding some highlights using the white paint with a size 0 brush on the hair, eyeballs, lips, beards and even dress. I used very lightly to give your light highlights.
Since the picture is in blue lighting, I use the blue as my background. And that's it, Johnson from GOT.